All right, things are really coming along with the Mustang. I'm super happy with the progress. In the last video, we got the valve covers off and we cleared up most of the front of the motor. Today, I'm feeling pretty good about getting the crank pulley off, separating the power steering pump, getting that set to the side, and pulling off our front cover. This is obviously a huge step because that's going to expose all of our timing. We're gonna be able to make sure that the motor's in time. Once it is, we're gonna take the timing chains off and really that's the last thing we need to get to before we can remove our heads. Now there was three videos before this one in this series and if you wanna watch those, just click the link above and be sure to subscribe to keep getting great content like this. Down in the description, you're going to find not only links to the parts and tools that I use, but I also put time codes in there for each part that I remove off the motor so you can jump right to it whenever you need it. Let's get started. I'm feeling pretty excited and ambitious today. So let's start with our harmonic balancer or our crank pulley. I have here a breaker bar and an 18 millimeter socket. Let's just throw it on there and try to back this guy out. Now before I did this, I put the car into third gear and I pulled the e-brake as hard as possible and we should have no issue with uh, getting the car to move in reverse basically so not turn the engine back okay haha <sighs> -ha, all right either that was incredibly easy or I'm incredibly strong um, or both but we already broke it loose so now just pull that out and now we need to go get our pulley puller. All right, so we have our pulley puller and actually what we wanna do is we want to get our bolt back in but just leave it loose, all right? Because you don't wanna be pushing this into the thread holes of the, uh, of the bolt. So we want to back this out until we have some space to put it in here. And now we just need to get the arms behind each section of the pulley. All right, how's that look? Looks like I have it on there actually. So what you wanna do is have each little arm pull on one portion of the pulley all the way around. And then in here, we have this, uh, this bolt here that kind of pushes against this bolt and then backs it out. So what we're gonna do is just make sure everything feels nice and tight Awesome. And then we're gonna start taking this, ratcheting it down, and hopefully the pulley pops off. All right, so I'm starting to torque it down. And this is a 13 millimeter. So, um, and unfortunately I have very limited space here, so I can't really get a ratchet down there, but I am just taking my 13 mil standard wrench and starting to torque this down. All right, looks like we're making progress. Just keep going. There we go. Make sure that you're not hitting the bolt. So basically, make sure you back the bolt out enough so that the whole balancer can come off onto the bolt. I need to readjust because it looks like my, the top here is faltering. It's kind of spinning a little bit. There we go. All right, we're not even getting close on the bolt. So we're just gonna keep going. All right, so we are loose. Awesome, so pull the puller out. Then get one hand on the bolt, one hand on the balancer. Back the bolt out. Awesome, and then very gently pull this off and set it aside. but the bottom bolt is directly below the bolt that's kind of furthest back in the engine bay. And so what we're gonna do is just get our little extensions on here. All right. And underneath the car, there we go. Way easier to just access it from underneath here. So I'm just gonna pull this off. In fact, I don't think I need this elbow. Let's lose that. 
making things more difficult. There we go, excellent. So there's one. Uh, next, we're going to very gently rotate this clamp out of the way here. Just kind of let, let kind of the tension come down here. And then we're gonna come up here and get that bolt. There we go, excellent. So we're gonna pull that out and that's gonna loosen our power steering pump. There we go, all right. So that is loose now. And we can push this back in place so that way it doesn't kind of, uh, doesn't create any additional tension and just kind of gently rest it on your sway bar here. And then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna suspend it with, uh, with bungee cords. Now, since we're down here, we might as well get started on the uh, front engine cover or the timing cover. I say that because there are four large bolts that actually screw in from the other side of the oil pan into that cover. So let's start by taking those four out. And then also underneath here, there is a connector to some sort of sensor. So we need to pull that out as well. Awesome. So now that that's disconnected, we can head back up and get started on the rest of the bolts. All right, so now we just need to remove the rest of the bolts on the timing chain cover, and then we can pull it right off. Now, most of these are 13 millimeter, and they seem to be a similar length. However, make sure that you're organizing each one. Now there is an order in the factory service manual of how to torque them back down. So I'm actually gonna use that as the numbers. So I'm basically gonna say, take this one out, that's number two, three, four, five, whatever. But once we take them out, organize them by those numbers so that way when you're putting them back in, you know that the exact one that came out of that hole is going right back into that same hole. All right, so we sort of have our, uh, our moment of truth here. We have all of the bolts removed. Everything is ready to come out. Now, a few things I wanna mention. There is uh, RTV in here. So it's usually where there's anything that joins. So in this case where you have the head, you have the block, and then you have the gasket cover all meeting in one spot. That's where your RTV is going to be. The rest is just a standard gasket. So what we need to do is just like we did with the valve covers, just get something that's gentle, and we want to start prying, get it behind there, and pop it off. Now there is a dowel. There's a dowel that this slides onto to kind of like a guide pin, and it's down here. So the idea is, is we don't want to kind of rank on it. We want to start from the top and then it'll slide out of the oil pan. So kind of away and out. All right. So as you can see, it's starting to move away. Everything seems to be good so far. Start working your way down. If you start to feel a lot of tension, like it's not coming off of something, uh, make sure you go back through and ensure all of your bolts are removed. We do not want to do any damage to this cover because then you'll be buying a new one. All right, feels like it might be free here. Just lift it up and be very gentle that you're not gonna smack anything and then set it aside. Now that my friends is an absolute thing of beauty. I am so excited to be where we're at. We have the front cover off, everything is exposed. So now all that's left to do is to make sure that we have our timing correct. And then we need to take off our tensioners, take off our guides, pull the chains off, and then we can finally remove our heads. However, that wonderful job is going to wait until we do a part five. So yes, there is going to be one more part here before we get to our heads. I wanna spend a considerable amount of time making sure I let you all know how the timing works in this and how we make sure we get it right. Because if you don't get this right, this is an interference motor and it will be destroyed the next time you try to start it and your timing is wrong. So comment down below, is this something that you're tackling alongside with me or are you just looking to get to one particular part in your motor? Definitely subscribe and follow along on this project. We're almost there. And like this video if you did like it and I will see you in the next one.